it and go to the other room to hit the button to say record. All right, so uh, the Austro-Hungarians are finished. Not finished. It's their last turn. They're certainly not finished. Not in this game anyways. Even though, well, I'm going to say this now. Let's take a look at here. Here's the border. Remember, it doesn't mean I had to do, like, recreate what happened historically. So let's look at it. Okay, like, historically, the Russians were way down here. They took Lemberg back in, what, September or something? Uh, obviously, that's not going to happen while well, it's over. For any, every, okay. Everybody east of the Vistloka that connects up to the Vistula, which I just thought was interesting here. This is called the, the Vistloka, and this is the Vistlok. Interesting. Anyways, um, they're all done. But let's take a look here. I'll get into the nitty-gritty in a minute. I haven't finished this. Okay, this is good. Like I said before, this is going to be the absolute final tiddly bit. Um, I've uh, written out the um, Austro-Hungarian uh, strength points around here, but I have no idea what's there. I can just say this, based on what I should have known repeatedly from previous turns and just clued in. Well, I, I tried an attack over here. Well, I did. I attacked over here. It wasn't successful. Okay, let's take a look here. Here's the border. The Russians are in it mostly compared to the Austro-Hungarians. They've, they've jutted out a little bit here. But compared to what they wanted to do, uh, especially in the September offensive, and they were so close. They were, I think, uh, did they get up to here? Well, I'm sh I know they got to here for sure. I have to take a look, at, but I'm sure they were then within 40 kil uh, kilometers, so that would have been for there for that, not 20. Mm, I don't think they ever got to there. I'll have to take a look. But what I'm trying to say is, let's take a look at the... Don't look at it historically in, in sometimes, I think. The Russians are deep, deep into Austro-Hungarian territory here. Um, I was starting to think, I wonder why, like, they got so far in here. Is it because uh, the Austro-Hungarians concentrated so much uh, during the September offensive to, uh, going towards Lublin? I don't know. I'll have to take a look later. Now, and also, so, what, I know I shouldn't even be talking about this later on bits, but they're, they're just, and they're also deep in East Prussia. Okay, so they've given up. The Russians have given up huge, or have lost tons of territory here. Wuj was a, a major F up. But remember, the, I, and I'll say this, I guess you could say, is that the Germans uh, did good. Remember, the 4th Army were way the hell over here, man. They are over in Ostrava. They've ta they took here, they, uh, they, you know, they raided this town, they raided that town. That's where all the demoralization points occurred, uh, a significant amount of them, anyways, for the Germans, obviously, up, up there as well. But that was a monster amount. But So you can just say, I'm just saying, the Germans certainly uh, did their bit, because they pushed them back. Like, how many? Here, it's like 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 2, so about 240 kilometers, man. And we're talking, you know, like in two months or something. That's pretty mo monstrous. Like, look at it from that perspective. I'm trying to overlay that in a Bruce Love offensive or the uh, Gorlitza Tarnath uh, uh, breakthrough. Uh, these are monstrous. Uh, they, they were able to push them back uh, significantly. That being said, uh, from what I can see, anyways, the Russians are doing pretty darn good. I have to, you know, uh, well, we'll see what happens here. We still got the Boog River Bridge, and uh, th this could fall apart like a. Well, it is a fragile eggshell, and we'll see what's going on up there, way up there. That's a long way away. I, I said I was going to talk about the Austro-Hungarians. Alrighty, so I think I mentioned I wasn't going to do any more attacks this way because I was just like it. It ain't worth it. Um, all the Russians are in uh, woods here. We'll deal with them later. Um, 
didn't move anybody over to here, what's the point? I'm slightly gamey, I guess, in the sense that I know the Russians are not going to be able to do anything because it's the end of the turn, or end of the game, in the sense that I'm going to set everything up and there's going to be trench lines and I have to start figuring out the proper line. It's all right. So I moved lots of troops over here. I just basically did that conveyor belt shifting of troops. I had to move a ridiculous amount of troops over here. It was horrifying. There was two strength points over here. It were they were two infantry divisions of one strength point each, and so that means they still took up um, well one third of a stacking limit. You know, because they're like it's only six uh, divisions per hex you can pop in. So I was like, "Gee, you've got to be effing kidding me!" So I had to move like a ton of people into the into the um, the second core over here, which I'm not a big fan of doing. Uh, because that was from first corps to second corps. Yeah, I can say the first corps army like dictated. I just I have to figure this out later on. Like at least give it a turn. Or okay, if you transfer uh, troops from one uh, command to the other, they may they're out of action for one turn. That type of thing. I I I'm more into that uh, aspect. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyways. We brought in 25 strength points against this little son of a bee, and I should have clued in as per usual. I, that's why I'm telling you right now, time and time again, uh, I'm bringing reconnaissance in into my game come January. Enough of this nonsense. This is ridiculous. I will say this, yes. I've reminded myself repeatedly, and I keep forgetting, is the fact that the Russians are playing the essentially the 4-7 10 trick, or what I'd like to call the 234, which means if you can get four strength points, it's going to cause the other side, if you're Russians, uh, they need two hits to force a retreat. If you've got seven, they're going to need three. If you've got 10, they're going to need four. Get the idea? So, the sons of bitches had three, uh, seven strength points, which means I needed three. Uh, um, Hits to inflict a retreat. They were in woods. I've got a minus two. I'm at 12 strength points because I can't supply uh, these little buggers uh, from 25 down. So I'm down to 12, always in the defender's favor. I could only force two, uh, two hits maximum. I rolled a one, which still comes out to two. They said, screw you, we're staying put. They rolled a four, I think. Um, so I got two hits. This, that was not good. I have to go and write it down in the demoralization uh, overall thing. Trust me, like I said before, if we ended this game and played it game-wise, uh, it's a Russian decisive victory due to the fact that right now the Germans are going to need, I think, something like 86 demoralization points to be inflicted on the Russians, and they take nothing. Like, that's never going to happen. Unless, like they, you know, like I've said before, unless they invent the atom bomb, uh, real quick and that ain't gonna happen so that's it um, now I'm off to the Germans um, this is going to be flipping interesting well the, like I said the major attack is going to be over there if they can if they can take this position way the hell over here that will be um, not good for the Russians but like I said the Russians have been playing that crazy trick uh, I think they brought in 13 strength points, if I remember correctly, so that should be five hits I need to inflict. It's going to cause a lot of whatevers. We'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. Um, that's that. Oh my gosh, I can... Uh, actually, I need to focus on... Well, I need to get... I uh, haven't even written down the flipping trivia questions for uh, tomorrow. I know what the answer is or whatever, but it's still like jeepers jumping, man. Oh, I was talking with Zoe Du for today. She's like, I was like, oh, I got this, that, and the other thing. She's like, you don't have to do it all. I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I want to. It's just got other things in the, in the works, like a full-time job, sadly. But, you know, I have to live. Alrighty, that's it. Hope you're doing good. See ya.